In the diagram, the graphs of f of x and g of x are drawn for the interval x and element of minus 180 to 90 degrees. And then 6.1 says for which values of x, x being an element of the given interval, will f of x multiply by g of x be greater or equals to zero. So if we were dealing with exponential or, or cubic functions, I will suggest we solve uh, this equation algebraically, right? And then see what our answer is. But then when we are dealing with trig functions, it's a bit complicated. We always have to resort to looking at the graph. So here, if f of x uh, multiplied by g of x is greater than zero then f of x needs to be positive and then g of x needs to be positive right because if one between the two is negative then the product will not be greater or equals to zero yeah it's either they're both positive or one is positive and the other one is zero so let's look for an interval where that is true clearly g of x is negative here so this interval can be part of our answer right and then h minus 30 is zero so here this is where it starts getting interesting and then f of x is positive on the interval we are given right so from minus uh, 30 degrees to where the graph ends uh, the product of f of x and g of x is greater or equals to zero right so our answer here will be x x is an element of minus 30 to 90 degrees and then 6.1.2 says uh, let's look for values of x where g of x is equals to minus 1, right? Let me just erase this and let's look at g of x. Uh, so g of x, we're looking for values where it is equals to minus 1. Uh, this is minus 1 and this is minus 2. Here at minus 180 degrees, g of x seems to be at minus 1. And where else? Let's just draw a line and see. And at minus 60 degrees it seems like it's at um minus one what i'm doing here just gives us an idea of where the point we are looking at is right so now what you do you substitute minus 180 into the equation of g of x and see if you get minus one and then you substitute minus 60 degrees on the equation of g of x and see if you get minus one and that is exactly what i'm getting so here uh, the values of x for which g of x is equal to minus 1 will be x is equal to minus 180 degrees and when x is equal to minus 60 degrees right it's easy to see on the sketch but you always have to put it in your calculator and see if it is true so now let's look at 6.2 6.2 says that y axis is moved 90 degrees to the right determine the new equation of the graph originally called f in its simplest form so our y axis is moving from this point here to somewhere here moving the y axis to the right just simply means that we're moving the graph to the left right so in a standard format if you have a graph h of x is equals to cos of x plus k plus q if q is positive you're gonna move your graph up and then if q is negative you're gonna move your graph down and then for the value of k if k is positive you move your graph to the left and then if k is negative you move your graph to the right so we're saying that we're moving the y-axis to the right so we're moving x to the left along the x-axis right so based on this general formula we have a k which is positive right uh, so let's look at f of x f of x is minus cos x plus one so let me just write that so we have f of x uh, which is equals to minus cos x plus 1 and we want to move this graph 90 units to to the left along the x-axis right so that will be f of x is equals to minus cos of x plus 90 degrees right we're moving it to the left plus 90 degrees plus 1 
let me just erase this and then now this is our new equation for the graph originally called f we have moved it 90 degrees to the left because y is moving 90 degrees to the right but then the question says in its simplest form right so this is not its simplest form but then if you manage to get here then you can get one mark of the two yeah now what's left is realizing that cos of x plus 90 degrees is equal to minus sine of x so if you substitute that back in your equation you get f of x is equal to minus multiplied by minus sine of x plus one so this will be equal to sine x plus one